Welcome back, it's Brad, and today we're going to be optimizing this laptop to get the best performance possible. If you guys do find the video helpful, drop a like and subscribe if you're new, and don't forget to leave some comments down below if you have any questions. So first things first, this computer has 250 processes and only 940 megabytes of RAM on startup, meaning a fresh install of Windows has basically capped this computer. And on the bus here, we're getting like 80s, and then when we drop down, we're spiking on 30 FPS. And then when we get in here, we're anywhere from 50 to 60 FPS, and we're just stuck. First things first, get NVIDIA Clean Installer, and we're going to install the latest drivers with the correct tweaks on. So just follow along on screen and apply the right settings like I have for the newest driver. Just click restart now and reboot your computer and then follow along with this next step. So open up MSI Utility V3, set your GPU, your Ethernet connection, as well as your USB 3.0 ports if you have a solid CPU to around high for interrupt priority, this should get you the lowest delay. Next you guys are going to want to create a system restore point, just follow along on screen like I have set and then you guys will have a restore point if you guys need. For some of these next um, optimizations, this is basic Windows 11 optimizing. It's just optimizing how your computer runs and feels while you're playing. Some of these are really important, like this mouse acceleration. You guys need to turn this off if you want to have a lot better aim, as well as the keyboard one that I show in a minute here. Just follow along with these settings. They're pretty easy. You don't have to change your background to solid colors, but I just like to do that. It makes the system cleaner. If you have McAfee and you want it completely uninstalled, I show how to do that later on in the video. This is basically how to turn off real-time protection, saving your CPU and RAM resources. For CPU intensive games, you're going to want to use CPU Unpark to make sure that all of your cores are unparked and working so that you can basically get the best performance possible with your CPU. important that you guys do not click delete all in this tab and that you go through and either select what I've selected or you just go through and select the things that you know you would never use and delete them off your system but do not delete everything. Clearing out your prefetch files, your temp and your temp2 files is a great way to just clear up some space and these things fill up over time and it's very helpful to just go through and delete this stuff. Now 
Now, when you open up this, you guys can uncheck everything, but turn on thumbnails and smooth edges if you would like those. What I'm trying to show in this step here is that if you have two monitors, there is a multi-display performance mode, but if you just have one monitor, you should be setting that to single display. Now this is very crucial for your input delay for your keyboard and mouse. It could be scary for some because if you set it too low, you might have random flicks that go off screen and your mouse is tweaking out. You guys really need to go back and just set it a little bit higher, five decimal points at a time. Make sure that when you're using Intelligent Standby List Cleaner, you set this bottom number to half the amount of gigabytes of RAM you have. So if I have 8 gig of RAM, then I want to set it to 4,000 megabytes or 4 gigabytes of RAM. And then just follow along with the rest of the settings for this program. This lasso it is an amazing program. You can use it to set intelligence standby list cleaner as well as your XMOS control to real time performance. And then you can set your Fortnite to high performance. And then you can also, this is more in depth, but you can disable core one and zero to get lower input delay because core one and zero have the most amount of interrupts on it. And so if you're using the rest of your cores on your CPU to run Fortnite or any other game, you're going to have less delay because there's less interrupts on those cores but you need a higher end CPU to do that with more cores and threads. Now this tip applies for Fortnite only. If you copy what I have on screen and you come into your Epic Games launcher and go to settings and then scroll down, you guys can paste this in here and then launch your game after with that. Next part, it applies before you play a game. So say you're gonna play Fortnite, you run all of these files and then you run Fortnite. This will delete temp files, log files. It basically just deletes your delay that you would have before playing games. And it will also boost your FPS because it's getting rid of a whole bunch of stuff in the background. Using filter keys will get you um, what, what feels like lower delay because it repeats your key rate a lot quicker. So if you're, say, spamming your F button to edit in Fortnite, it's going to repeat a lot quicker and it's going to feel like you have less delay, which is really good. I do have some other settings for this, but I haven't released them yet. Most people use these settings, so I would try these out first. 
Now, just jumping off the bus, you can see the FPS around 150, which is a lot better than the 80 that it was before and spiking into the 30s. At least we're not getting those spikes. We're getting about 150 in the game, just running around in this building. I do get a couple kills here, and remember this laptop's still on 8 gigs of RAM, and it had about like 3.5 gigs free after I did all those tweaks. It was definitely a lot more playable, like... There's still a little bit of spikes here and there, but that is kind of because of the recording in 60 FPS. When I was done recording, I was able to just play like I usually would on even my 240Hz system with no delay. It was feeling really good. And even here, you can see these clips. I'm like, I have literally no delay and I have high FPS even while recording. So this is just my Fiverr where I optimize people's computers one-on-one -on -one with them. Guys, I offer basically optimizing for lower delay, for higher FPS, as well as for your Ethernet settings and custom routing to the servers. It's pretty easy, guys. Just check it out. It's in the link in the description. Basically, I'm just going to let you guys watch the rest of these clips and you guys can see how this laptop performed. Thanks for watching guys, if you guys did enjoy today's video, subscribe if you're new, drop a like, and don't forget to turn on the bell notification so you guys never miss another video.